Anterior cervical discectomy infusion, or also known as ACDF, is a common neurosurgical procedure. We do that for uh, arthritis in the neck or ruptured discs in the neck. Symptoms of that would be neck pain or nerve pain going down your arm, numbness or tingling. Uh, sometimes you could have weakness in your arm from a pinched nerve, but basically our doctors will make an incision in the side of your neck. Uh, it can be anywhere from about that big to bigger, depending on how many levels they had to do. Um, but basically, they go in from the front. This is the front of your neck. They go in and they will remove the disc, scrape away any arthritis off the nerve, put a spacer where the disc was, and then they'll put a titanium plate over uh, the front of the spine just to add that stability. Um, if they're only doing one level, it's going to take them about an hour and a half, but then it can go up from there. Uh, lots of times these can be done outpatient, but not always. Uh, some providers prefer their patients to stay in the hospital, so they'll let you know ahead of time if you're going to have to stay in the hospital. Um, if you do stay in the hospital, it's usually just for one night, maybe two, um, but you can expect neck uh, incisional pain after this. We'll give you pain medicine, muscle relaxers. You can expect swallowing problems just because you've been intubated, but also they've moved things out of the way to get to the spine. I would plan on having soft foods at home. Um, cold foods usually work best. If the swallowing's too bad, you can call us and there might be medications that we can do to help with that. But usually that's gonna get better over the first week or so. Um, you're gonna take it easy when you get home. You're not gonna do any lifting, more than five or 10 pounds. You're not gonna do any overhead work. Um, no, not a lot of twisting, turning. You're probably not gonna be comfortable to drive for a couple of weeks. And even if you are able to move your neck in a couple of weeks, as long as you're taking pain medication, we don't want you driving. But most people can stop taking their pain medicine for the most part in a week or two after this surgery. After your anterior cervical discectomy infusion, you might need therapy, but usually we don't start that until it's been a good four weeks. Um, and that would be case by case, depending on how you're doing at your follow-up appointment. Uh, again, with this type of surgery, you wanna quit smoking. That's gonna help you heal the best that you can. And a lot of times insurances are gonna require that you stop before the procedure.